Well, here we are. I'm here with Elena Villa today from Milan, Italy. Uh, everybody should subscribe to her channel. It's a great channel for lyric diction. Um, what happened was as I was browsing YouTube, I came across her channel. I loved your content. So I just, we wrote to one another. I wrote to her and we said, uh, why don't we just collaborate on stuff? And uh, she, she wrote back, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Hi, hi, John. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so welcome. How, how's how's Milan today? Quite sunny and oh, windy. Yes. We're finally we're finally sunny here in Southern California. It's been it's been a very strange year where we've had lots of rain and lots of clouds. Um, yeah. So, so Elena, you can be found for first of all. Um, Everybody should subscribe to her channel. We, we want to get you to uh, at least a thousand subs and, and many, many, many more. Um, so the channel is called Elena Villa, E-L-E-N-A-V-I-L-L-A. -E -L -L uh, and you can go there and subscribe. Also, you are available for Skype coaching. So you can get private coachings. Um, there's an email for that. It's info at elenavilla.it. That's Italia, IT, yeah. IT <laughs> right? Um, IT. And also you have a website, www.elenavilla.it, so you can find all your information there. Okay, yeah. great. Um, so uh, your background is not necessarily in, uh, well, it's in classical music for as an instrumentalist, right? Could you tell us something about that? Yes, yeah. I started as a kid as a mandolin player and I played classical mandolin for an orchestra for many years and uh, I mean it's not popular mandolin but it is like Vivaldi, Calace. Yeah so the other thing that people don't realize about mandolin is very hard uh, it's very very hard to play classical mandolin right you're playing the instrument you and it actually is, it takes a lot a lot a lot of practice to get up to speed on yes. things. It's very hard for the fingers. You have to really have strong fingers. And when you are a baby, it's quite hard. So you have to practice a lot, a lot. Then I grew up, of course, and things have changed. But when I was, when I was a child, it was really hard. It hurt. It hurts a lot. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It has a wonderful sound, you know. And lots of people from Asia love it. It's, it's, very, it's also very interesting to hear it when um, you hear pianists play the mandolin part in Don Giovanni, you know, and that the mandolin can only go so fast, right? Yeah. You just play it really, really fast, and then you get to the, you get it with the orchestra, and then the mandolin player has to really, really, really try hard to keep up. In, yeah, in, in you, should listen, you should listen to Bolero of Calace. That is wonderful wonderful that is something that everybody should listen to it's wonderful how did you um get the idea to to start doing lyric diction you you do have vocal experience so you are you are you're a vocalist but mainly in you you were singing in jazz correct but then yeah, you, yeah. you decided to do lyric diction and you have uh classical arias and 24 italian arias like caro mio ben and uh, and things like that so how did you come about that well, I, I have uh, started uh, learning how to sing, singing classical, uh, of course, singing canto lirico, because that's what you have to do when you start singing in Italy and you want to learn the technique, you know. And uh, so I started learning these arias and uh, then in the long run, I went back to what was my real passion that was writing songs and especially blues, rock and jazz. And that is what I have learned then in the long run. But so my first experience as a singer was uh, 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 classical. And uh, some a couple of years ago, um, an, a very young opera singer from Canada came to my place and visited us. And she suggested me to do these videos because she said that in Canada, lots of people, lots of students needed help for the pronunciation she said you don't have uh, you cannot imagine how hard it is for a young student to pronounce properly italian arias it's very expensive to have a teacher uh, teaching them how to pronounce arias of course you can learn uh, many dialects in america but not 
the real Italian. So, well, I just uh, accepted the challenge and uh, tried to do some videos she suggested me to do at first because she needed them and then because she suggested me something to do. Then I have my list, but of course I have a lot of plans about my channel, not only this one. And so I've been trying to get organized and do some of this and some of the other things. So one of the exciting things that's going to happen is we're going to start making videos together. And um, I never claim to be a native Italian speaker, but um, have discovered a lot along the way, a lot of formulas for the things in Italian. We're taught that it's all phonetic language and there are all kinds of things. So one of the exciting things is our exchange of ideas. And I'm very excited to have uh, a native Italian model uh, to bounce off of as we do these things. So that's going to be exciting. One of our challenges was to find an actual time of the day that we can do this. So basically, uh, it's dinner time for you. It's you're the end of the day and it's the beginning of the day for me. So you should, yes. uh, Elena's in, in Milan and I'm in Southern California. So uh, I don't know how many difference in the hours it is, but I guess 10 o'clock my time or, or 8 o'clock my time is, is uh, late in the afternoon for you. So yeah, uh, yeah. That, that's going to work out quite nicely now that we have that figured out. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, also my my other question for you is you're in the position that I am in where I am a, uh, an English speaker teaching Italian. Right. And you teach English. Right? Yeah. You teach English. So what yeah. is that like for you? The funny thing is that when I when I saw your videos, I I thought, look at that at this teacher. He's doing what I do here, and that was amazing because you did it in very smart. It's very smart, you know, the way you do it. You approach the diction, the Italian diction. I am trying to do my best, but you know, we will never be uh, native speakers. We will do. We will try to go as close as possible to the right thing. But the, the thing is that when the pronunciation is good, then the sound is good. So I try to do my best to teach them to pronounce properly, listening to the, um, the singer, the, the native singer, and trying to repeat the, th the sounds, you know. It's quite difficult sometimes because we always say, for example, instead of the, we say the. <laughs> And that is hard to tell. Just slow down, say the, say the, and it's difficult. It's not so there, I think there are 16 vowels in English. And yeah, seven, very only seven in Italian. So then, you know, that's yeah. the when you have to learn sounds that you don't have. It's the yeah. only the only thing for an English speaker would be the, to learn the, some of the mixed vowels that are in German and French that you don't have in in English. Um, you see, it's very that's that that's very interesting because I never went about it with the idea that I am you know this is the this is the perfect Italian. However, if you're lost, you can come to my channel. You learn some formulas. It, it's a beginning. Then you can branch out. Then you're going to compare to the native singers. And there are always these choices that are being made that you when you listen to the great singers, then you say, oh, I understand now there was that formula. I got my mouth moving the right way. And now I can sharpen. I can sharpen those skills. Yeah. So, you know, I, I find very smart your ideas about how to pronounce things. Also, because as as a native uh, English speaker, you know exactly the problem. <laughs> so when you have to pronounce something in Italian, you understand how hard it is for a guy, for a young student to do it. And so you have this idea of helping out. And I'm trying to do it. But of course, it's too um, natural for me to pronounce in Italian so I just do it and it's uh, I cannot go so much into it I can try I can try to figure out how it is but I cannot give so many tricks and uh, suggestions as you do so well, I'm it's forward really I'm looking forward to it because we can have you read something and then I can say see this is what happens here and then this and that and that and then it's a way better model than I myself doing it where I'm yeah. going to have an accent, just yeah. because I speak English all day. Uh, so, so your mouth is moving like in, you're speaking English, and then you go to speak Italian. You're not quite going far enough into into the Italian. 
So great. Yeah. So um, we're going to see everybody in the next video and I look forward to our working together. So again, it's the YouTube channel is Elena Villa. So subscribe info at Elena Villa dot IT. And I will link everything in the description of this video. Elena, thank you for taking the time today. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank and you I very much. Ciao. Ciao.